Uh, hey, how's it going guys? It's uh, Batman Comic 87 here, and I'm coming to you with a long-awaited haul, guys. Um, it's been a little bit since I did a haul video, um, mostly because my uh, comic book store actually didn't have any uh, boards, which is unfortunate. I kept asking and asking and asking, and every time I'd go in, they'd be like, no, sorry. And so that was unfortunate. But I got some boards so I could put all my, uh, you know, all my comic books uh, out of the, uh, you know, yellow and brownish uh, bags of boards from my comic book store into nice, fresh, uh, you know, bags of boards. And, um, oh, what a difference it makes, guys. Like, some of these books were in bags that were just gross. And I can't, I'm not going to shoot a video in the gross bags or, you know, I don't, I usually like to wait till I have them in nice, you know, comic book bags. Um, so that way they're presentable for the videos. Um... But yeah, starting off, guys, um, I got a big, big book in this haul. Uh, maybe not necessarily a big key to a lot of you guys or anything like that, but um, it was something that I had never purchased before, so it was kind of a, a milestone uh, for me. Um, but um, yeah, guys, so I got a new phone, so I'm able to do a little bit longer videos now, so I can, uh, you know, I'm no longer rushed or under a time limit as far as how much I want to talk about books, so that'll be good. Um, but without, you know, uh, too long of an intro, uh, getting started, guys, um, I picked up Iron Fist number four, because I watched, um, a while ago, I watched the Iron Fist TV show, and ever since then, I've been a big, big Iron Fist fan. So I was trying to pick up a couple of his series, and, um, I just found these at my local comic book store for, like, $2, uh, for $2, so I thought I'd get a couple of Iron Fist issues, and I really dig this cover, you know, with him ripping his shirt off, and, like, you know all the muscles and stuff. It looks, it looks really cool. I really like that cover, actually. Um, it's kind of funny. In the next one, um, I got Iron Fist uh, number uh, five. Um, he looks a lot skinnier. Like, he goes from, like, all that muscle to, like, I don't know. It looks like he lost about, like, 30, 40 pounds uh, <laughs> of muscle indifference um, between those two. Um, but yeah, I also like this cover, guys. I like all the hands, you know. Kind of looks like the, uh, Ashura thing with all the hands. It's pretty cool. Really awesome. Um, so I like, really like those Iron Fist guys. And then I picked up, um, because I'm always going for that Amazing Spider-Man run. Uh, I picked up Amazing Spider-Man issue number 352. Didn't have this one. Needed it for my run. Uh, we got Nova there, so that's awesome. Uh, Yeah. So uh, then up next, guys, another Amazing Spider-Man. We got 564. Really, really awesome cover. Like I said, just basically trying to get some of these just for my uh, Amazing Spider-Man run. Um, because, yeah, that's probably like the main run I'm probably going to go for, guys. Um, basically, I've narrowed it down to about five series I want to go for main. And I think Spider-Man, Batman, and Daredevil are the three I want to pursue the most. And lately, guys, I gotta say, it's probably mostly been Amazing Spider-Man that I've been going. Um, and that's probably the first section I go to. I mean, I know that's A, so it's usually where it starts, but I used to go straight for the Batman, and now um, I've, been, I've been going for the, the Spider-Man guys. <laughs> I know. Um, really dig that cover. And then uh, 610, guys. Um, funny story about this. I actually thought that I had this one, and every time I'd go, I'd see it and be like, no, I have it. No, I have it. And then uh, I checked through my box, and I was missing 610, so I didn't have it. And I, I went probably like five times and saw it and just didn't pick it up because I thought I had it. But it's because I see it in videos and stuff, guys, and I don't know, it makes you think you have it or something. I don't know, I'm crazy, you know. Either or. Um, then picked up some Justice League of America, guys, because that's actually a series I... Um, Really actually want to start picking up too because it's pretty cheap and you can, so you can get some of those like Batman and uh, you know Superman and stuff uh, appearances for uh, a lot cheaper than in their normal titles. I uh, really like that cover actually guys. Uh, look out Green Arrow, Superman is really the wizard and I'm super and then they kind of it's Green Lantern blocking it off and <laughs> blocking his mouth off. I thought, I thought that was an awesome cover guys. Um, then similar to uh, Justice League and that is a team up type book. Um, I picked up uh, World's Finest, Superman and Batman, issue number 299. Um, really awesome cover, guys. Only paid, like, $2 for these, so, you know, not too, too much. And to get, like, you know, Bronze Age, you know, Batman or Superman appearances, that's just a pretty good deal. 
Um, then up next, guys, I picked up Superman or World's Finest starring Superman and Batman number 298 versus Zeta, I guess. I'm not entirely sure if that's just like a one-off villain or whatnot, but I've never heard of Zeta, so I'm excited to read this and uh, find out who Zeta is. I uh, really like that cover, guys, actually. I don't know, just the yellow, it really, it really pops for me. Um, then up next, guys, I kind of... Um, been hopping on the uh, Wonder Woman uh, hype train. Um, ever since I saw Wonder Woman uh, six, seven months ago in uh, theaters, I've actually, I really actually enjoyed the character and stuff. And I wanted to, you know, I'm actually a fan of her character now. So I wanted to, um, you know, pick up a couple of her series. Because I do have some Wonder Woman books, guys, but not, not many. Like, I think I have a couple of Silver Age and the, you know, issue here and there in her run, but not too many. So I went to my comic book store and I went with the, you know, determination to get some Wonder Woman. And uh, first one I got, guys, um, in the haul is Wonder Woman 78. Um, basically just got this because of the Flash appearance. Um, I had a big stack of Wonder Woman already and I was looking through and I saw the Flash. And as you guys know, I'm a big Flash collector. Um, so I, was, I thought that was really awesome. And, you know, it's nice when you got two of your favorite heroes teamed up in the same book. You know, it's kind of a kill two birds or, you know, hit two birds with, the, you know, one stone kind of deal. But, yeah, I really, I don't really like the Flash's expression in this, to be honest. It looks like a little goofy. But I really do did the cover, though, and I like that the Flash is on it. So that's 78, guys. And then I really like this cover, too, because it has a Flash, but not that Flash that was just on there. Um, that's uh, the first Flash, Jay Garrick. And um, I just really like that cover. I thought it was really cool. And then, guys, probably one of my favorite covers in the entire haul. Um, they had 169. And it was actually funny, guys, because when I went in and when I went with my big stack of books, um, the girl at the counter, or the guy at the counter, there was two of them there. I think the owner and then, like, one of the girls who works there. And he, uh, when I brought these up, he made a comment that they... Uh, that I was just I was already buying them and they just thought put those books in the boxes today um, out on the floor And I thought that was kind of funny because they're probably only in there a couple hours before I got them So, you know, who's to say they'd even have been there, you know much longer because Wonder Woman's pretty hot right now um, And I, I don't know. I just really like that cover guys it's like a war going on with like, you know, the Roman soldiers or whatever um, I just think that's really cool and she's sitting there crying. I think that's just an amazing cover I don't know if that's Adam Hughes or not, because um, I know the Adam Hughes Wonder Woman covers are, like, really sought after and are, I've seen them, guys, they're really nice, like, they're really well done, so I understand why they're, you know, so popular, but that's an awesome cover. Um, and I didn't stop there with the Wonder Woman, um, that's number 206, also really dig this cover, guys, I think it's really awesome. Um, kind of a funny story, I, uh, I went and got... So I'm not sure exactly which one's in this haul, guys, but I got about half of the Wonder Woman books um, at the store, and the other, and then like the other half, I was I, I didn't pick up that day. I, I I thought I spent enough money. I was like I just called it a day. I was like I got enough Wonder Woman books. I'll just come back another day and get them. And then uh, I kind of went home, and guys, and I didn't stop thinking about those books and if someone else was gonna get them for probably that entire day. So I went back the next morning at like 10, 10 a.m. And it's, it's rare for me to be up that early, guys. And I woke up just for, just to go get the rest of those books. So, I don't know, I thought that was kind of funny. You know, you know, you really want something when you, like, you don't stop thinking about it. But, it's just those covers, guys. I love them. And I didn't want anyone else to have them. So, I uh, also really like this cover, guys. I think it's like the yellow and black that just really, you know, makes it pop. Um, but 207, really, really awesome cover. I don't know, it looks like that person's, I don't know who that is in the, who's flying her, but she's not the one flying him, he's flying her, which is pretty awesome. Really love these Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman uh, covers, guys. I don't know if I've made that very clear, um, but you'll notice throughout this haul that there's a lot of Wonder Woman covers. Um, then after 207, I got 208. I was basically just grabbing all the ones they had. It wasn't, like, it wasn't, they didn't have a ton. Um, but I grabbed every single one basically that basically that they had so um, And then probably one of my favorite covers in the entire haul. I don't know. I just really like that cover guys uh, Wonder Woman number 213 
um, against all gods. I just like, I don't know, like I said with the other cover, I think it's the yellow that really makes it pop. And I don't know, just even like her muscle definitions, you know, are just really well detailed, really well done, and I really, I really dug it. Uh, I kind of like how she's holding the head to, uh, you know, one of the statues, which is pretty cool. Um, and then guys, after that we got 216, which we got more statues in that cover, really dark cover, like really, uh, you know, scary, you know, darker uh, cover in that regard. I really like that cover as well, guys. Uh, I really dig that. And then up next, guys, we got 217. You know, really awesome cover once again. And then actually, guys, this, this one's actually also another one of my favorite in the entire haul. Uh, something about the Wonder Woman covers. Um, number 218, which is kind of on like a chessboard. I'm actually a big, uh, I'm a big fan of chess, so uh, I actually do play. Or, well, I used to a lot more when I was a kid. Um, but I really, really enjoy um, that cover. I think it's really cool with all the giant chess pieces. It almost reminds me of uh, in the first Harry Potter movie where they're, you know, they're on top of the chess pieces and you gotta have a match. I, I don't know, it just reminds me of that. And I, I just, I really, really dig that cover. Um, then I'm next, guys. Uh, sorry if I'm talking really fast. I'm going through these fast. I got a lot of books to show. And I don't want to keep, I don't want to take too much of your time, or too much of your time, guys. Um, but then up next, guys, I got number 219. Uh, really awesome cover, like the uh, Superman tie-in there. I'm not really sure what the OMAC project tie-in is. Maybe that's, that's probably just a storyline that I'm not aware of. Um, and then, uh, I know I've said this a lot, but this is probably, I want to say this is my favorite Wonder Woman cover in the entire um uh, that or 169. That or 169. Um, but this is number 220. Uh, I don't know. I just really like the cover, guys. It's I, I think it's the red and black. It just really pops. And I don't know. I just think it's a really kicking cover. Every time I go there and I go through the Wonder Womans, um, they have another copy of that. And I always just look at it and I always go to buy it again because I just like it that much. Um, but then up next, guys, we got number 224. Really cool cover with her and all the uh, people from Rhode Island. I don't... Amaz Amazonians. Amazons. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I just like the army there. I think that's really cool. Um, then up next, guys, another Superman appearance. Uh, Tie-in uh, number 226. I like how it's saying friends or foe, so I'm guessing maybe Superman's you know, shows up and they don't necessarily know if Superman's you know, with them. So that would be pretty cool. And then guys, um, probably by the title of the video, um, you'll know what book's coming up next. This is guys, I've actually, for a lot of people having um, a lot of these comics in their collection and way of storing their comics, uh, this is actually the first one in my entire collection. And uh, yeah guys, without any further ado, this is uh, Uncanny X-Men number uh, 142. These are the, this is one of the uh, Days of Future Past uh, storyline. Really like this comic, guys. I think I bought this after well, I rewatched uh, Days of Future Past because I'm a big Sentinel fan. Um, guys, I don't know if you know that, but I'm a big Sentinel fan and I was, I don't know, I just, I saw it for a good price and I didn't have any CGC comics in my, um, in my collection. It's a 6.5, guys, you probably can't tell. But I'll just show it there better. But um, yeah, it's a really good looking copy, guys. I'm really happy to have this in my uh, collection. Yeah, not much more I can say about it other than that, guys. Um, you might be wondering why I'm saying this is my first CGC comic when last video I showed off a CGC comic. It's actually because I bought this before I got the other one in the mail. So, so yeah, guys, I, th I thought that was really awesome and I'm really happy to have it in my collection. Um, then up next, guys, some more Amazing Spider-Man. Just more run filler, you know. Just because, I, like I said, I'm always on the hunt to get more of those. Um, then, guys, um, pretty decently key issue. Um, I, I, this is number 408. I'm pretty sure this is, like, a flashback issue where, like, Bruce Wayne remembers, you know, meeting Jason Todd and him taking the tires off of the Batmobile. Um, really awesome cover, guys. I needed this in my collection um, for a long time, and uh, I never ever saw it at the store. So when I saw it, it was a, 
it was a little pricey, but um, going on eBay and stuff, it would have cost a little more. So I wasn't, I wasn't too disappointed. And I'm just happy to have it in my collection because it's an awesome cover. Then up next, guys, I got number 673. Really like Batman looking in, I think, at like a younger Bruce Wayne um, in the blood. And I just thought that was a really awesome cover. Hadn't seen it before at our store. And I got 687. I don't know if these are in order, guys. Um, another awesome cover. You know, you can't beat um, any of the 600s uh, Batman covers. They're all really, really nice. Um, and then up next, guys, I got Daredevil number 361. Black Widow appearance. Like I said, guys, I am actually... Daredevil is the one series I actually think I can complete uh, from one to... Uh, whatever issue it's on right now, but a complete run of Daredevil all the way through. And I, I do think that is a run I'll be able to complete. Amazing Spider-Man, I'm not entirely sure if I'll be able to do that. Um, Batman, definitely not, unless I win the lottery, and even then, I mean, chances are probably not. Uh, but Daredevil, I, I, I'm going kind of hard on lately, um, just because, like I said, I do think that is a run that I am able to complete. Yeah. Then up next, guys, uh, Daredevil number 13 from Volume 2. Really, really nice cover. Why does the web spin spinner have to reach Mary Jane or MJ before she's gone? Plus, who is the mystery villain hot on Spidey's trail? That's a read to find out, guys. Um, and then, guys, I really dig this cover um, for the Doctor Doom appearance. It's um, Amazing Spider-Man. Volume 2, number 15. Really like that cover, guys. Anything with Dr. Doom on it, on the cover, I'm probably going to pick up. And then, guys, number 27. So, uh, based on the shadow of a cat there, I'm guessing it's a black cat um, storyline. But, you never know. Um, and like I said, guys, um, it's really trying to go for all the Wonder Woman so I saw this, Wonder Woman number one from volume two, and it wasn't really that expensive, so I thought, you know, I'm gonna need number one eventually of volume, or volume two or volume three, one of these two. Uh, I'm gonna need, um, I think it's volume three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need number one eventually anyway, so I thought I might as well just pick it up now and not wait till a later date when it's not available. I have to go on eBay, and that'll suck. Um, and then, like I said, guys, always going along with the Batman there. Uh, we got Batman number 669. Really like this cover, guys. Really, really like it. Because I think it's got, like, the entire Bat family there. I think that's, like, I want to say, well, like, Batman, Red Hood. I want to say, like, the Robins are there. Maybe Batgirl. I'm not sure. But I think that's, like, the, the Bat family all there. With their... And, guys, another random Daredevil issue. Uh, sorry if it's all over the place now, guys. I didn't order organize these very well. Uh, I picked up Daredevil number 348. Really like the uh, like outline. Or I guess he's coming through a window. So, I don't know. I just thought that was a cool cover. Uh, nonetheless. Um, then for my Flash run, guys. Because I am trying to go for a Flash run as well. Uh, this is Flash number 217. So, I don't know if this is like the death of Captain Boomerang. But it's all the villains. Uh, you know, hanging around the grave. And, uh, yeah, so. Then up next, guys, I got 220, which is a really nice cover. Once again, you got all, like, the rogues there and whatnot, so. I, I just think that's cool. I like, I like covers where it has a bunch of the uh, rogues gallery um, on the cover. It's just, I don't know, something I dig. Um, then I really, really like this uh, Flash cover, number 233. Um... I, I, th I don't know. I thought it was really cool. I, I, I don't know. I, uh, I just like that, uh, you know, Batman and Superman there are, uh, and Wonder Woman are all standing there and looking pretty, like, menacing, um, which is pretty cool for, you know, because Superman doesn't normally look too menacing. Um, try and make him, like, a Boy Scout. And so, I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. And then Batman and Wonder Woman just, like, kind of looking all menacing on the cover while Barry's, or Barry, I think that's Wally, um, <laughs> running away, so... Cool cover. Um, then up next, guys, we got 243. Really like this cover, Time Bomb. Really dig it. 
Um, and then, like I said, guys, I was going for uh, my Daredevil run, and I found a bunch for like $2 at my store. So I, I can't really pass that up. This is, I really like this cover, actually, guys. Um, this is Daredevil number 84. Really, really cool cover, guys, because he's in, I guess, Matt Murdock's in, like, prison, and he's got, like, all the prison numbers there, and then he got, like, his rogues gallery around him, you know, like, the owl, and, you know, I don't know if that's Hammerhead or not, but you see my point, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome cover, I don't know, I, I really like it, just that he's in prison, and he has all the people he's put away and stuff, as Daredevil and Matt Murdock, um, in, in, around him, I think that's, I just think that's pretty funny, um, then, guys, Really awesome cover. The the Daredevils in uh, the 80s, 90s, and 100s, um, the covers are some of my favorite in all of comic books, just in like how detailed they are and graphic. I, I, it's, it's cool, I'll show you. Um, this is Daredevil number one, uh, 101. Like I said, guys, there's just like so much detail and all the blood and in his face. I don't know, I just, I really dig that cover, guys. That's it's one of my favorite covers in the hall, for sure. Um, and then up next, guys, um, just because it's kind of a cool, funny, weird cover. Um, Daredevil number 436, or 56, depending on which volume you're referencing. Um, I don't know, I just thought it was cool that Daredevil's, like, kind of ripping out of his costume. He's kind of turning into, like, what looks like a, like, a werewolf type thing. And, uh, I don't know, I just thought it was, I thought it was cool. I don't know, it looks like a werewolf to me, um, type thing, demon thing. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was cool. And I needed it for my Daredevil run anyway, so it worked out. Um, then, guys, I got four ninety nine. Another awesome, awesome, amazing Spider-Man cover. And then uh, five eleven, Sins Past Part Three. And then, guys, I got number ten of the Flash, and that's all the books I've actually picked up right now. Um, well, at least that you that you guys are going to see. Um, I do have some other books that I'm going to shoot a video on. Maybe right after this. Maybe in a little bit. Because um, like I said, I did have a lot of books um, building up in, that I hadn't been able to show. So uh, I will show those to you guys in a future video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the kind of longer S video that I'm doing. Um, but that's going to do it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed all the... Uh, Awesome books in it, you know, my first CGC, so, you know, milestone for me. But, um, yeah, guys, I'll uh, see you in the next video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.